up everyone? Today's video is about, yeah you guessed it, the bugs that I'm breeding in my closet. These first bugs are giant canyon isopods. We've been using them in our snake's enclosure. He's a boa constrictor and his enclosure requires more of a temperate climate and these isopods are perfect for that. Isopods are just a bunch of miscellaneous isopods. I started this culture on January 19th, 2020, earlier this year. And these are also an isopod that requires a more arid climate. And they have been just reproducing like crazy. And there's also a night crawler in there, as you can see. We've been testing that out, see if it makes the enclosure more aerated, and we will see if we have an increase in how fast they're breeding. But underneath this cuddle bone, you can see that they are having babies. There's a bunch of little babies underneath here. Disgusting, but eventually we're gonna use it in the garden and I think it'll be a great fertilizer. Here are my dwarf white isopods. They're eating, I think that is old bloodworms. We left it here whenever we were doing maintenance so you guys could see how they swarmed. Um, yeah, they're mainly, they mainly live in the soil. And they also are really interesting because every time you open it, they won't move and they'll actually play dead. I've been having really good luck with these dwarf white isopods too. They seem to be more of the um, durable species, I would say. Or hardy. These are my powdered orange isopods. I use them in crescent gecko tanks. They need more of a humid climate. When if you give them a humid climate, they will just explode. I can't even mention how many I have now. Every time I lift up that bark, it's just orange underneath it. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. I've always been joking with my friends and family that I'm breeding bugs in my closet. And if you find this interesting, just like I do, please subscribe. Have a good day.